Paul Acevedo with Windows Central, reporting to you from PAX South in San Antonio. Hi, uh, I'm Adam. I'm a programmer with uh, Dark Seas Interactive, working on Road Redemption. All right, Adam, tell me about Road Redemption. So Road Redemption is our modern take on motorcycle combat and racing, uh, obviously heavily inspired by games like Road Rash. Uh, we decided it was we wanted to be able to jump on a bike and uh, hit our friends in the face with a baseball bat, so that's exactly what we're doing. Is it multiplayer? Uh, currently we have uh, split screen enabled multiplayer. We are looking into online multiplayer. Uh, we really, really like to do it because it's a game made for online multiplayer. So we're currently evaluating sort of the costs uh, of doing so and trying to figure out if that's for sure what we want to do. Does co-op work very well when you might be kind of far apart in a race? It depends on the objective type, so in a race, uh, obviously you want to both finish as well as you can, so it's probably best if you're together and supporting each other, and in general you want to be supporting each other. Uh, but we have other game types where your goal is to just eliminate the enemy gang or something like that, uh, in which case you can be separated and it's not going to be much of an issue, you're still going to have plenty of AI, plenty of other characters around to interact with. Do you have a campaign? Uh, yes, we do have a campaign. Actually, this game is mostly campaign focused. Um, we have a progression through different environments, through different levels, uh, and just tons and tons of different missions at every level. What are some of the weapons you have? Uh, we have all kinds of just absolutely ridiculous weapons. Um, it's primarily a melee focused combat system, so we like to have, we have a katana, we have a shovel, uh, a crowbar, a tactical axe, there's uh, uh, all kinds of just crazy, a giant pipe wrench, whatever you can think of, please baton. Uh, we're going to have, eventually we're hoping to have the, the chain in there, you can pull each other off the bike. But we also do have projectile weapons, they're a little bit harder to come by, they're very, very limited in ammo. Uh, and we're constantly tweaking those to keep them in balance. But if you get four or five people lined up in front of you and you've got an Uzi and you strafe right, you can just slow down all of the competition at once and it feels fantastic. Can you steal weapons from other racers? Absolutely. Every time you kill a person, you have a chance to take their weapon from you. And we're looking at ways to make that a little more intuitive or a little more uh, controlled. So you can actually grapple with another player and, and deflect their weapon. We're thinking about setting it up so that you can actually take their weapon from them when you do that. But we're still exploring all of those possibilities. Yeah, because I guess that was a move in 3 Road Rash, was that you could grab it out of their hand when they try to hit you or something? I believe so, yes. Is there any kind of story to the campaign then? still very much in the works and hasn't been integrated into the into the current uh, early access build yet. So we're sort of holding on to that one until until we get things nailed down. So I understand you successfully kickstarted this game? Yeah, yeah, we actually a little over a year and a half ago we successfully kickstarted it. Uh, got a little bit more than we were asking for, uh, which was great. This actually is what allowed us to start making this project, which has been on the, in people's minds for a long time now. We're really excited to be working on this. Uh, Last September, we actually went to early access on Steam, uh, and that's been uh, been really, really well well received. We've been really happy with the response, over 90% positive reviews, uh, and that's given us a steady stream of income that's allowing us to really uh, expand our feature list and get in all of that really cool stuff that we wanted to do. When are you planning to launch the game on PC? Uh, on PC, so that's very much a sliding window. Uh, currently, we're looking at towards the end of this year, a little bit before the holiday season is what we're hoping for, uh, and that would be a PC, Mac, and Linux release, and then shortly, either at the same time or shortly thereafter, we're hoping to have PS4 and Xbox One. And is there anything else you plan to add to the game between now and release? Uh, absolutely, and that's a constantly evolving list. We're sort of nailing down what are going to be our final features. Uh, we're looking very, very heavily at online multiplayer. We really, really like to do it. It seems like this game is made for it. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to really overhaul the racing system, make it feel a lot more like a racer. Uh, more weapons, more, more levels, uh, more game modes. Just, we've got the core of the game in. Right now, we're just ramping up on content and features and polish. Uh, and 